okay, we move away from the mean and we start thinking about the median. I'm not actually finding the median really, but we're wanting to decide which item in a list is going to be the median. Now, obviously all the data is always going to be organized from smallest to biggest. That's kind of always gonna be, what hopefully should always be the case, um, but do check that it is. And I've said here, you need to be able to find the median of both listed data and of grouped data. So if a data is in a list like this, you will apply this particular thing that we're going to do. If it's not in a list, if it's in grouped data, we're going to have to do it in a slightly different kind of way. So here we've got this first question. These are like question one, two, three, and four. And we're going to find the median of them. So there's five things in this first list. Remember how you find the median? It's literally the one that's in the middle. So you can see in this case, the position of the median is the third number and the median is seven. Now in this one where there's four, the median is halfway between these two numbers. So actually, I'm going to say that the position of the median is the second slash the third. It's in between those two numbers, which is going to be 9.5. This time we've got seven numbers. So I'm going to cross off either end until I'm left with something in the middle. And when there are seven things, one, two, three, four, the median is in the fourth place. And the value of that median in this case is seven. OK, now the last one, there are 10 points, 10 points of data. So I'm going to cross off from either end. That's one, two, three, four. And I'm left with these two values that I would need to find the middle of. So it looks like that the median is in one, two, three, four, fifth and sixth. So it's in between the fifth and the sixth value, and the middle of six and nine, where you can add six and nine to get 15, and you can half it to find out what's halfway. Half of 15 is 7.5, so the median is 7.5. So what is the rule? The rule is, to find the position of the median for listed data, find n divided by two. If it's a decimal, you round it up. If it's a whole number, you go halfway between this item and the one after. So let's just check that that works. This is n, so I'm going to work out what n divided by 2. So it would be 2.5. Yeah, 2.5 rounds up to give you the third. Well, for the this one, half of 4 is 2. And when it's a whole number, it says use halfway between this item and the one after. So you're going to go halfway between the second and third. For this one here, 7, half of 7 is 3.5. Yep, that's going to round up to 4. Half of 10 is 5, so you're going to do the 5th and the 6th next door to each other. So this is only for listed data. Most of the time, I believe you will come across scenarios that are grouped data like this. So in this case that we've got here, I'm talking about IQ, um, intelligence quotient, maybe like a test that people do. To find the position for the median, we need to think about how many things there are. And it says, to find the median of the grouped data, find n divided by 2, and then use linear interpolation. I have said here, do not round n over 2 or adjust it in any way. This is just like at GCSE, where if you had a cumulative frequency graph with 60 items, you'd look across at the 30th. You wouldn't do anything other than just going across at the 30th. We're going to cover what linear interpolation is in a next video. All we're going to do now is think about which position will be the median. So I need to find out how many there are. I'm going to add up these values. So 7 and 5 adds to 12. Add on a 3, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I'm just going to check that's right. That's 12 and 5. They add up to 17. So n is equal to 17. So the position that I will use, the median position that I'm going to use, is going to be n divided by 2, which is 17 over 2, which is the 8.5th item. And then what we will do is we will use something called linear interpolation in just a second. So what I want you to do is to decide for these quick questions that we've got here, where would you find the median? Careful, some of them are listed, some of them are grouped. So make sure you apply the rules from the previous bit really carefully. Pause the video here and have a go. And then I'm going to go through them now. OK, so for this first one, n is 11. They're listed data. So I'm just going to do 11 divided by 2, which is, I'm going to do this outside of this bit here. 
So I'm going to do 11 divided by 2, which is 5.5. And it says if it's a decimal, you round it up. So it would be the sixth one. This one is 24. So I'll do 24 divided by 2, which is 12. So it's a whole one. So you're going to go halfway between the 12th and the next one, which is the 13th. OK, this time it's grouped. So it's straightforward. Just add them up and they go to 17. So I'm going to do 17 divided by 2, which is 8.5. So the median position will be the 8.5. Pretty obvious to see these add up to 10. So you're just going to half the 10. The median position is the fifth because it's in a table. OK, these ones are listed. So I'm going to do 60 divided by 2, which is 30. So it's a whole number. So I'm going to go between the 30th and the 31st. What about this one? Well, these ones are clearly in groups. They add up to 21. Half of 21 is 10.5, so it's the 10.5th term. There are 35 in this one, so I'm going to do half of 35. I'm going to be super lazy. Half of 35 is, oh my gosh, why is the calculator? 17.5. And if it's a decimal, it says to round it up. So it's going to be the 18th. And then for this one, 5, 6, and 2, that adds up to 13. So n is 13. And 13 divided by 2 is just 6.5. So it's 6.5. No rounding required because it's in a table. And then I've got 18 of them here. So I'm going to divide it by 2 to get 9. Well, it's a list, so it's going to be then halfway between the 9th and the 10th. What I'm going to do in the next video is I'm going to show you how to do linear interpolation.